Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Queen & Company's Special Delivery Summer Celebration Kit. This kit is packed full of fun, crafty goodies, and I will provide a link in the description box for my unboxing if you want to see everything that's included. So let's go ahead and start with my first set of cards. I will be making two of every card design, but I'm only recording the process of assembling one. For this first card, I'm using a sketch from Mojo Monday. This is number 539. I have some blue polka dot paper for the background and this beautiful floral design for that wider strip. I have some striped paper for that thin strip going across the front of the card. And I'm just adding some scrap cardstock where it's going off of that floral paper, keeping everything nice and level. This is something I do all the time. So if I don't mention it and you see me cutting some weird pieces of paper and putting them behind, that's what I'm doing. And I'm layering all of this on some dark blue cardstock, and this is paper that I have in my craft room. I love adding matted layers to my cards. I think it adds some nice contrast and definition. It's also helpful to have those matted layers if you're using several different pattern papers. Now with Queen & Company 6x6 paper pads, they have a really nice balanced mix of the busy and the muted patterns all within the one collection. So it makes it really simple to include several different pattern papers on one card without it being too distracting to the eye. Now this kit was designed as an add-on to go with Queen & Company's original special delivery kit. So I will be using two different truck die sets and those are both included in the original special delivery kit. I will have links for all of the products that I use in the description box below. So for my card, I had to make a pink truck. I love pink and who wouldn't want a pink truck? There are several different dies that are included to assemble the truck and I love all the little details. Now with all the little dies that are included in this kit and also the special delivery kit, it is handy to have a tool to help pick up those tiny pieces. I'm using an embellishment wand. It has a wax tip on the end, so it makes it super simple to pick up those tiny pieces like the rear view mirror. I will include a link where you can purchase one in the description box below. What's really fun about this kit are all of the different dies with items that you can include in the back of the pickup trucks. So for this card, I'm putting a couple of surfboards, cut out two of them, and I'm adhering those to the back of the truck first. And since I'm making this a shaker card, I'm using one of the foam pieces. This is by Queen & Company. Their foam is double-sided with adhesive. You just have to remove the backing. And then I filled up that little shaker window with some of the toppings that are included in this kit. Remove the other side of the backing, attach the acetate, and then glued on the little frame. If you've never used any of Queen & Company shaker kits before, they are so easy to use since everything is pre-cut and ready to go. So for the sentiment, I've already gone ahead and stamped this out. This is, may your summer be loads of fun. I just stamped it on some white cardstock and I'm layering it in the same dark blue cardstock. Cut a fishtail on the right hand side. And now for the brake lights, I think these are the brake lights, I used some of Queen & Company's Rainbow Glitter Foam in the pink color. That would add a lovely little sparkle. And I'm using one of the flower dies that's included in the kit and just adhering it to the left hand side of the back of the truck. And now to finish off the card, I'm using an assortment of Queen & Company Bling. So for this card, I have some of their iridescent bubbles some petite posies, and also the polka dot epoxy dots. So I'm just sticking with the colors that coordinate with the paper. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using the same sketch. I love these bright and cheerful summer colors. Now moving on to the next set of cards. I won't be using a card sketch this time. Instead, I'm gonna create a little scene. So I have some of the green pattern paper. I use one of Queen & Company's border dies to cut out this little hill. 
And then for the sky, this is one of the solids that's included in the kit. And I used a lawn fawn die that has all of those clouds stitched in the background. I added both of those pieces to one of the pattern papers with the two different tones of a dark blue. Now I'm going to be assembling a red truck. So this is the other truck die that's included in the original special delivery kit. So there's the side view and then also the back view. So again, lots of little pieces to assemble, but these are so much fun. And you can make them as shakers or non-shakers. For the window, I'm adding a piece of iridescent vellum just for some extra detail. To make sure I cut it to the correct size, I use the piece that cut out from the window as a guide and then just cut around it, leaving a little bit of an edge and then just put some glue on the back and adhered it in place. Now I'm adding the little wood crate to the back of the pickup. So I did trim off that back piece. The kit also includes a larger truck bed with that crate. So you have the option of the taller or the shorter. So I'm going to go with the shorter for this card. I'm going to pop this up using some thin foam squares. This is my favorite brand of foam squares since they're not quite as thick as the standard foam dimension. And they're really easy to cut, so you can add them to all of these tiny little areas on your dies. So I'm trying to make sure to have good coverage so there isn't one side that's sagging at all. I am going to leave the very top of that wood crate without adhesive since I'm going to be tucking stuff inside. So I'll go ahead and adhere it to the card. And then next I'm going to add some foam dimension to the back side of the wheel covers. There's one for the front and the back. Just adhere those both in place. I decided to move that back wheel cover down just a little bit. So I peeled it up and put it back in place. Just to save on time, I've stamped out this sentiment as well. This is sending big thanks for your service. I used one of Queen & Company's stitched banner dies from their foundation die set. I layered that piece in some silver mirror cardstock and then I snipped off the left hand side so that it's flush all the way to the edge. Now I'm going to start assembling the flag. So there are several dies that are included that you'll need to cut out all of these pieces. So I have the background using some of the red pattern paper. For the white stripes I use some white pearlescent paper. These pieces are very tiny, so I'm using some tweezers to help hold everything until I get glue on them and then put them down onto the paper. So then the final piece, I use some of the pattern paper that has a bunch of little stars in the background. And then there's also the flagpole. So I'm going to adhere the flagpole right in the back of the pickup truck. Put that piece down first and then I can glue the flag onto that pole. I noticed one of my white stripes I had off the edge just a little so I used my scissors to trim that away. I cut out an assortment of red, white, and blue stars. This is one of the dies that's included in the kit. And I'm just going to fill up the back of the pickup truck with all of these stars. So I'm using my tweezers because again it's so much easier to try to deal with these teeny tiny pieces. And now one red star I did accidentally miss part of the star point but since it's going to be covered up it still works out just fine. And then I decided to put some of the stars coming out of the side of the little crate. So I did trim off one of the star points. That way I could get it snug right into the back of that truck. I'll just add a few more. So I want this truck nice and full of beautiful patriotic stars. I love this sentiment and it's going to be perfect for giving cards to veterans on Veterans Day. So for this final blue star, I decided to pop it up with one of the thin foam squares. And now I'll finish it off using some more bling. So I have some of Queen & Company's red stars have their blue pearls and then also some white petite posies. I didn't think the card needed a lot of extra bling. So there are the two finished cards using this design. 
Now moving on to my next set of cards. And I won't be using a card sketch again. I have some solid pink paper for the background. I used one of Queen & Company's stitched rectangle dies to add some detail. And then I have the floral tone-on-tone -tone pattern paper. I used one of Queen & Company's border dies to cut a hillside. And then using another one of the pink solids, I cut out this little scallop border. And I'm just gluing that to the very bottom of the card. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and also a little bit of liquid adhesive around the edge. I've noticed sometimes when I use a stitched die, it warps the paper just slightly. I want to make sure that it's not going to come up, so adding just that little bit of liquid adhesive really helps. So for this card, it's going to be very pink, and you'll see why once I add the little sentiment later. So I have five little flamingos all cut out with some pink solid paper. And I also have their little beaks cut out of some orange. I'm just gonna glue those in place. So these are super, super tiny. Maybe the smallest die I've ever used. So I just put a drop of glue onto the area where the beak would go. Use my embellishment wand to pick those up and then glue them in place. And I just used my finger to wipe away any of the extra glue that may have come out. So now I'm going to put liquid adhesive on the back of all of the flamingos and adhere them to this pink hillside. Even though the flamingos will look really cute in the back of one of the pickup trucks, I wanted to make a few cards that didn't feature that truck, showing that you can still use this kit all by itself. So I have all of my flamingos glued down, and here is the sentiment. I love this one. I'm tickled pink for you. So I've stamped this out on some white cardstock, used one of Queen & Company's foundation die set for this stitched banner die. And I'm just adhering it flush to the right-hand side. I also cut out a few stitched circles using the pink polka dot paper, and I just tuck those underneath the sentiment for a little extra detail. And now I have two of the flowers. These are the dies that are included in the kit. Adhere those to the bottom corner of the card. And I'll just finish off the card with some bling, all in pink, of course. So I have some of the spirals, some jelly gems, and also the ice flowers. And I didn't want to leave my flamingos without any eyes, so I'm just using a black pen and adding that eye really quickly. So there are my finished card, and I love this one since it's super pink. I know not everyone is a pink fan, so do let me know which card is your favorite. So let's move on to the next set of cards, switching back to the patriotic colors again. That's one thing that's so fun about this paper collection is half of it has summer bright colors and the other half is all patriotic colors. I'm using this blue paper with all the tiny stars for the background, and then I'm adding a stripe of this red tone-on-tone -tone paper across the back. First, I had to peel off this sticker label. Always bothers me to keep those on there. Now for this red tone-on-tone -tone paper, since I knew I was gonna be covering up the majority of it, I just cut two one-inch pieces, adhered those to the red cardstock, and now when I attach this white piece, you won't be able to see that big gap in the center. And that way it'll save some of the pattern paper. So on this card, I've already stamped out the sentiment. This is sending you sweet summer greetings. And I decided to put some red and white twine around the very top of the card. So I like to put some adhesive on the back side, wrap the twine around. This time I did it two times around. And then to make sure the ends aren't going to come off later, I use some of Queen & Company's red line tape. I put ATG on the back, and on that very top portion, I did use some liquid adhesive just to make sure that it's not going to pull away from the card base. So for this card, I am going to do another shaker card. I'm going to make a blue truck. I have all of the little pieces to start assembling my truck. And since you've already watched me assemble one of the trucks, I'm gonna speed this portion up quite a bit. It does take a little bit of extra time cutting out all these tiny pieces and adhering them in place, 
but it's worth it since these trucks are so adorable. So now I just put some liquid adhesive on the back side, glued it onto my card front. Now I'm going to start assembling the shaker portion. So I removed the backing on one side of the foam. I'm going to press that in place. Add a little bit of liquid adhesive for the brake lights. And this time I cut this out of some red glitter paper. Make sure that they are straight as much as possible. And then I'm going to fill up my shaker bed using an assortment of shaker toppings. I have some red stars and then blue and green pops. And these are all the toppings that are included in the summer celebration kit. So I'll remove the other side of the paper backing, add my acetate, a little bit of liquid adhesive, and then I can attach the frame. And then I'll tie my bow with the twine. I like to leave it until I'm sure if I want it on the right or left side. So I'll just trim off the tails. And now this truck bed is going to be full of watermelon. So there are three different dies. There's the one die that has the whole watermelon, and then there's two dies needed to do a sliced watermelon. So these are really fun. I love this stitch detail. I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive, adhere the full watermelons to the back of the truck, and then I'll attach the half watermelons in front. So I thought the patriotic colors work nicely with the watermelon, since we usually have watermelon on 4th of July. And I'll just use a black pen and add the seeds. And then to finish off the card, I'm using some of Queen & Company's buttons. The green and the red are nice and bright and they match beautifully with the watermelon pattern paper. So I just adhered the buttons using some glue dots and then I have a few different bling choices. I have the blue ice flowers and then also the pink, actually it's the red petite posies. So there are my two finished cards. I love using patriotic colors and I could use them all year round. So now moving on to the next set of cards, I'm going to use a sketch by Queen & Company. And their sketches were designed to coordinate with their foundation dies. So if you own the foundation dies, it's super simple to assemble these card sketches, but you can still use those sketches for inspiration. I also used one of Queen & Company's border dies for this fun zigzag border at the bottom of the card. So I have some green tone-on-tone -tone paper for the background and then this dark blue stripe paper for this larger rectangle piece, layering all of it in some dark blue cardstock. And then for this smaller rectangle with the rounded corners, I use the light gray paper that's included in the 6x6 paper pad. So I've already gone ahead and stamped out the sentiment, and I know this is a Father's Day sentiment, but it went really nicely with the images that I'll be using on this card. So I'll just set it aside for next year. So using some more of the solids, I cut out the little banner, the little tab on the side, and then also this stitched circle die. I don't want to add too many pattern papers. And now I'll start assembling the little images, and I'm using the three different tools that are included. So on the saw and also the hammer, there are two pieces. So you can add a little metallic look to the metal portion of those tools. I just used some a silver mirror cardstock that I have on hand for that. And then using the smaller truck bed, it looks like a little crate. This is from the original special delivery kit. I thought it could work as a toolbox. So I'm going to adhere few of the tools down first. Just going to glue these straight down and then I'll add some liquid adhesive to the back of the toolbox. Glue that right on top. I know the tools wouldn't really be standing up like that but it's worked out well for the card. Then I'm going to do a couple more tools on that circle. So on the other hammer I cut it out using the blue cardstock. And then just to finish off the card, using some more Queen & Company bling, I have some of the horizontal stripe epoxy dots. 
some green frosties and also the brand new silver petite posies and these are super sparkly so there is my finished card i did make two using this sketch although on the second card i had to use some different papers since i was out of a full sheet of that green tone on tone paper so moving on to the next set of cards i will be using a card sketch this is OWH sketch number 192. And I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but if you are interested in any of the sketches that I use, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post, and that link is provided in the description box below. For the image box on this card, I added a strip of gray cardstock and used one of Queen & Company's stitched border dies. So it just has that thin strip at the very bottom. But before I get to the image, I need to adhere the background of the card. I have three different pattern papers layering all of these using some blue cardstock. So I have this fun polka dot paper for that very bottom strip using some more of this floral paper and then also the blue diagonal stripe paper going across the middle of the card. I wanted to make sure that that piece didn't sag down, so I put a piece of scrap cardstock underneath it. I'll just layer all of this together, add my card front onto a card base. I love how easily it is to mix and match the pattern papers in Queen & Company's paper pads. So now I can adhere this sentiment or image box. And I'm going to assemble another one of the pickup trucks. This is the side view. And I have it cut out in the green pattern paper. So I'm doing this exactly the same as the earlier truck. I'm adding some of the iridescent vellum to the window and then I'll pop up the entire truck using some of the thin foam squares. And I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up this part quite a bit. I feel like I'm taking a long time just to add all of these little foam pieces. I wanna make sure to get really good coverage. So that's why I cut all of those tiny little pieces. So now that I have all of the backing removed, I can start assembling my truck onto the card. So I'm just putting the wheels in place and then I can put the truck bed on add some liquid adhesive to the back of the wheels. And now you can see as I'm assembling my truck, that gray stitch piece that I put on the bottom is the road. So I'll just add the hubcaps. I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back of the wheel covers. Adhere both of those in place. And for those, I cut them out of the solid green paper instead of the pattern paper. Now it's time to fill the back of the truck with some beautiful and colorful balloons. So I have an assortment of colors. I use just the solid papers for all of these. And I'm just using some liquid adhesive and adhering those all in place. And just for the very final pink balloon, I use some foam dimensional tape. Now how those are staying in the back of the truck, not really sure. I think we'd need a net or something but that's okay. So for the sentiment, I've stamped out delivering you birthday greetings. I put a little scrap of cardstock on the upper portion since it's going off of some of the other layers. And then I popped up that whole banner using some of the foam squares. Now I'm adding some star die cuts. I use some pink and also the blue paper. I'm gonna pop up all of those stars using some more of the thin foam squares. I have two of them in the lower right hand corner and then two underneath the sentiment. And then using some of the star toppings, I have the blue and also the white. I'm gonna add one in the center of each of the stars. So I just use some liquid adhesive and adhere those. And I'll add one more star next to the sentiment. And then finishing off the card, I'm using some blue jelly gems. This card is so bright and cheerful, perfect way to celebrate somebody's birthday. So there are my two finished cards. Even though it takes a little extra time to cut out and glue all of those die cut pieces, I think it's worth it. 
So now moving on to my final set of cards. This sketch is from Queen & Company. I'm using the patriotic floral paper for the background. And then I added a strip of this tone on tone red paper that's covered in stars. And then also added a scallop border underneath using some red cardstock. So I'll just layer the background piece on some blue cardstock. And I decided to add some twine. So I have the red and white twine, wrapped it around the card twice. I'll adhere the ends on the back using Queen & Company's red line tape. Remove the backing, add some adhesive, and then I'll also put that liquid adhesive along that top edge next to the twine, just to make sure it's not going to pull away from the card base. I have noticed cards where I didn't use a liquid adhesive that it was starting to pull away. So I'll attach this red strip across the lower portion of the card. And I am following this sketch fairly closely. So I've already decided I'm gonna have the bow on the right hand side. So I'll go ahead and tie that and cut off the tails. I have three white circle die cuts. I use some white pearlescent paper for those. And I've already stamped out the sentiment. This is wishing you a happy flip flop season. And I'll just layer that sentiment banner on some blue cardstock, put some liquid adhesive on the back side and adhere it to the front of the card. And now I can start assembling these darling teeny tiny flip flops. I have one in a dark blue, one in this lighter blue, and then the last pair in red. And I use those same colors for the top of the flip flops. And since these pieces are so tiny, I'm using my tweezers to hold them. I can add the glue and then adhere them in place. My daughter said they're small enough to be fairy flip-flops. That would be really cute. So down to my last pair. One more top. And then I'll be able to adhere them to the circles. I think these are absolutely adorable. What is interesting is I can't stand wearing flip-flops, so I never wear them. I don't like the feel of that strap between my toes, but I still think they're super cute. So I'm just using that liquid adhesive, gluing the very last one in place, and then I can adhere all of the three circles onto my card. So I'm gonna lay them out loosely first, trying to get the placement nice and even. I decided I'm gonna pop them up using the thin foam squares. I'll adhere the red one in the center first, and then I can check the placement again on the other two. So I'll add the foam squares to my last circle die cut, adhere it in place, and then I decided to add a little extra detail to the flip-flops. So I'm using some more of the star toppings. I got the inspiration from Ginger Williams, who is one of Queen & Company's main designers. She added some of the Fimo flower toppings to her flip-flops, so I thought I would add stars to mine. So I have red, white, and blue stars. Just putting a drop of glue on the outside strap and then adhering those stars in place. I think this adds a really cute detail to the flip-flops. Now just to finish off the card, I'm using some more bling. I have the blue spirals, the red frosties, and also the white petite posies. So there are my finished cards, and I just love the patriotic colors in this fun summer card. Of course, if you live somewhere warm enough, you could wear flip-flops all year round. Not so much here in Washington State. Now here's just a quick recap of the 14 cards I made using Queen & Company's Special Delivery Summer Celebration Kit. This is such a fun kit and it can be used year round. There are a ton of other dyes that I didn't use. There's graduation hats, there's a four leaf clover, Easter egg, there's a fishing pole and a little fish. Lots of really fun images. If you are interested in the kit, I have provided a link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.